Right. Um, so we've got another normal distribution question. What are the things we do? We have to describe our distribution. X is distributed normally. It tells you the mean is 52. The standard deviation is 5. For convention, it's beyond the scope of this course. But for convention, we write um, the variance, which is the square of the standard deviation. Okay. And that's what we get. So that's what we get there. So um, just, just be a little bit uh, careful with that part, uh, writing it as a squared thing. Um, but we, we should always start by writing out our distribution in that sense. And clearly my, my ability to write the, the mu symbol for the mean is um, a bit flawed this morning. Let's see if I can get it better this time. Yeah, a little bit better. Okay. Um, then when we're answering the questions, we need to be doing diagrams. Okay, so always draw your sketch. It doesn't need to be a beautiful normal distribution curve. It just needs to be an approximate to give us a visualization. Um, mean is 52, standard deviation is five. So that's what our normal distribution graph will look like. Um, find the probability that a student chosen at random arrives at least 60 minutes after the um, the school opens. This is a nice school, isn't it? It opens at eight o'clock and people aren't even people are arriving 52 minutes after that. It'd be lovely to have a, a school that was like that. At least 60 minutes after school opens. So we're looking at the line where um, the time is 60. So we know that's the right of the mean because the mean is 52. So uh, we're looking at this probability. So again, we know the value on the horizontal axis. We're looking for the probability. So this is an N, C, D question. It's, it's the right way round. We're doing it the right way round. Um, they've actually thrown in another question here um, where, and this is quite tricky, mu is 52, sigma is five. They said between 45 and 55, minutes um so whoops um you've got another ncd there this time your lower is 45 and your upper is 55 so they've actually given you two ncd questions there one where this is a right tail okay and this is a um this is a center tail now i think and i might need to check your gdc and get back to you on that i think you can do this as a center tail and have your lower bound as a, um, oh, sorry, what am I talking about? You don't need center tails and right tails at all. You just need your upper and lower bound. Sorry, ignore ignore the center tail and lower tail bit. I haven't got the calculator in front of me. Um, you just have your, you just change your upper and lower bounds. So the first one, um, your lower bound is 60 and your upper bound is 52 plus 10 times five, which is um, 10 times five is obviously 50 as well. So that's quite straightforward to work out. Okay. So, uh, and this one here, your lower bound is going to be 45 and your upper bound is going to be 55. So that's quite a straightforward one. Okay. And on to part B, given that on one morning, 15 students arrive at least 60 minutes after school opens, estimate the number of students at Mulberry Park School. So, um, at least 15 minutes, we've got the same situation here. Let's do our little sketch. Um, standard deviation five, mean is 52. Um, at least uh, 60 minutes after school opens. Oh, actually, we don't need to do that, sorry. Ignore that, we've already got that answer, of course. They, uh, I said in the last question that sometimes um, they gave you something that relied on an answer you've already calculated. We have already calculated that, in fact. Um, so for part B, we've already calculated the probability from A1. You've got the probability from A1 here. Um, we know that that's 15 minutes. Okay, so the probability from A1 is 15 over the total number of students. Because we know that that's if you like that's 
that probability is, is going to be given as a decimal or you can convert it into percentage. We can also give probabilities as fractions. If we were looking at it as a fraction, it will be 15 over the total number of students. So that's the relationship you get. So there's, you can just manipulate the algebra in that expression to work it out. That's a little bit of playing around with fraction decimal percentage conversion. And again, understanding that probabilities are linked with um, relative frequencies that um, the probability of that happening is the same as the fraction of people that it happened to or happened about if you like if that makes sense okay apologies to that I'm a little bit misled on on part um part b there and actually i've just realized i've called that um b when that's actually a2 so let's put the numbering right so that makes sense to people watching this if you go back and watch it later okay any questions on any of those parts sorry i made a, a little bit confusing there any questions on any you can you can put just put a comment in there if you're okay just that i know you're listening everyone's okay excellent right um okay i'll stop that